Make sure you stay tuned in, we'll talk about two common mistakes people make that can cost you thousands of dollars. Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you having a dot charger. If you have a dot charger, you need to find the fuse for the USBs in the center console. You actually guys have two, uh, two fuses for those USBs. Stay with us, we'll explain where they're located. We'll explain about common mistakes people make when replacing fuses that can cost you thousands of dollars and why it's super important to test fuses. All that will be covered in this video today. Before we start, let me just tell you a little bit about us guys. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. Why we do that? Because our mission at the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to our channel, like the video, that way we can keep making these free videos. And if you guys want to buy any parts, tools for your Dodge or any vehicle, you want to get them at a good price, quick shipping, check out the link in the description of the video below. That's where we get all our tools and supplies from. So let's continue now. So that should work on V6, V8, specifically we have the V6 engine here guys and uh, most people will check that fuse in that fuse box here but it's actually not there guys, it's at a different location. Uh, now if your USB still do not work, in some cases guys, not very often but we've seen it happen, you may need to use a scanner to reset the codes in your dot charger and clear all the codes. Okay, so this scanner, okay, let me just flip the mount here so it can stay. It's one of the best ones that we use guys here at the shop for that price. I'll put the link in the description of the video below and you can see where you can get it from, but it's amazing too that can pay itself off in one time use. You can access every computer system, read the lead code, see live data, and you can see it works on almost any car. So check it out if you need help with that. Uh, when you replace the fuse, you may need to reset the codes in some cases. Not often, but it could happen. So let's explain where that hidden fuse is located now. So if you come guys here towards the back, you can see this is the cover. We have the cover for the tire here. And uh, once you lift it up, you get to the spare tire and the car battery. Common mistakes people make. It's for some important fuses, it's important to disconnect the car battery. And if you don't, it can cause damage to the electrical systems. Number two, it really, it's really important which battery terminal you disconnect and reconnect first. If you do it the wrong way, you can burn modules, computers, electronics, and some of those cars have up to 50 computers, guys. Uh, we made that mistake and we burned an airbag computer on a Mercedes, so that cost us $2,000, guys. This is the fuse box that we will need. We're going to open it by pressing here and flipping that way. Now, that's where, okay, we need to give you another advice. These are the fuses and the relays. Always, guys, test fuses and relays. Fuses, sometimes you cannot clearly see if they're burned. They look perfectly fine. You pull it back in, you start wasting time and money to fix a problem that doesn't exist, guys. So it practically is not worth it, in my opinion, guys. So always, always test fuses. Where is the USB? Okay, the first fuse, you have two fuses, guys. But uh, if you want to see how to test fuses, relays, and where to buy cheap fuses and relays from, we'll put a link. Uh, in the description of the video below how to do that check it out it will teach you all about that the first fuse that we need to check is that fuse number 12 that fuse right there okay so this is the wrong type of fuse it's supposed to be a different type of fuse somebody installed here obviously i believe it's supposed to be the short type of fuse so that's one fuse okay right there you have one more fuse that you will need to check and it's uh, uh, some will have that some will not it really depends guys but if you come now okay uh, you will need to find fuse number guys okay uh, number 68 so you go to one two three that third fuse from right to left if you have this one okay it will be there these two fuses need to be checked hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching and see you guys next time